here like alone when I'm not here. Yeah, what are you doing here? I actually have a, a little speaker, so I play some music because being in silence for eight hours isn't fun. I jam out a little bit. Do you play like a playlist or a radio station? I like to listen to film scores. I love Star Wars, I'm playing Star Wars. Howdy, I'm Justin. I've only had one serious big boy job my entire life, and that's writing hot takes for Jalopnik. But the true struggle of a blogger is not having your friends and family take your job seriously. And sometimes even I begin to wonder if I had it too good. So now I'm pulling up my bootstraps and going out to callous my delicate blogger hands with real work experience. It's time for me to find a real job. Good morning, it's 6 a.m. We're at the Department of Sanitation, and today I'm gonna learn what it's like to be a piece of trash in New York City. So there's this common misconception that New York City is this dirty, gross place. It's not that the city is dirty, it's that everyone who lives in the city is dirty. So today, I'm gonna to meet the people who have to clean up after all the gross New York City citizens. It's the Department of Sanitation workers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just a few teletypes to read you. Keys don't have to be left in the vehicle. You have to shut the ignition off, pull the key out, shut the power off. It's very important. So I'm here with the person who's gonna be training me today. This is Kristen. Hello. Kristen, I know this as a street sweeper, but the Department of Sanitation calls it something Me else. Mechanical broom. And you are? A mechanical broom operator. All right, Shabinsky, here you go. Thank you. Chris, this is you. Look like a gander at it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to read it. It's just streets. We're gonna get in this mechanical broom. I'm gonna drive, and then we're... Mm. No, no. No, you're gonna, I'm driving. Why can't I drive? Legally, that's not possible. It's not gonna happen. This is like what you would just. Normally... This would be a normal day, yeah. Mm -hmm. So where will I be? Uh, you're gonna be in our jump seat. The bitch seat. You're gonna seat. be right next to me. The bitch seat. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Do I need anything before we go out? Are we good to go? Oh, I always. I love the vest. You're gonna be wearing I that. I love the For vest. For safety reasons. You need to wear a vest. How do I? It's very Velcro-y. Let's head out. Is there a time for that? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. There's always time for a bathroom break. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I was nervous that like once we're in the car, that's it. This is one of the new hybrid puppies, right? Yes. It's well, actually almost brand new. We just got it about like two weeks ago. Uh-huh. And are you the only one who, oh my gosh, are you the only one who gets to drive it? Uh, actually, no. Where, wherever the need is necessary. Oh, okay. Different operators drive it. But here we have our gutter broom. Uh, we normally just give it a little spin, make sure all the bolts are in. Underneath we have our center dirt deflector. Uh -huh. So it actually pushes all the trash in there and then it brings us back here. This is our pickup room that picks everything up into our elevator, which I'll show you in a little bit, uh -huh. and then into our hopper. So this actually opens, oh. all the trash gets lifted up. Look at that. Goes right in there. Yeah, I'm all. happy that safety is the first thing. Of if course. safety was like second or third, I'd be a little more concerned. It's always number one. Always number sanitation. One. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to get back in, okay. turn things on to make sure that they're uh, running properly. Gonna things animate. are going to move. Things are happening. So right now you hear the pickup room spinning. And I'm actually going to open the hopper. Make sure we have clearance up there. It's like a dump truck. Yeah. Oh, and you can see the elevator moving. We actually have to make sure that three things are working on the broom before we take it out. So there's actually a beacon light on top. Yep. That's working. Our center jerk reflector underneath. Yep. That that's on. And then we also need to make sure that our reflective triangle is on. I see the reflective triangle. It is hard to miss. All right, so elevator's working. I'm gonna close that back. What are these? This is just a little yeah, dump down. Yeah. Full proof. Can I do it? Sure. And will it stop on its own or do I need to be like... No, it'll stop. You'll hear it close and then, and then I... that's it. Okay. Nice. Cool. All right, so I'm actually going to go back inside. I'm okay. going to turn the gutter brooms on, so just be careful. Oh, I'm scared. Oh. Oh. So yeah, that's our pre-trip. Everything's working. I think we're ready to go. We have all our fluids. 
Everything's spinning. Everything's spinning the way it should be. A lot of noises. Should. Yeah, it's loud. Yeah. Especially when you're outside. You ready to go? I am so ready. All right, let's go. All right. Make oh, sure you grab onto three there. Three points. Oh, that's like rock climbing. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're. you're oh, I'm, I'm there's coming There's one too. door. Yes. Oh my God! You should have gone in first. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. How did you get your start in the Department of Sanitation? I have an uncle that's on the job. I got hired in 2017, the summer of 2017. So I've been on almost two and a half years. You're, you've been an operator, you've driven things the whole time. Yes, I've been a, in the mechanical room for that time. There, there are times where we actually get, it's called getting sent out of town. So we'll go, <laughs> we'll go out and um, we'll pick up trash or we'll pick up we call these guys baskets. We could be on a basket route or a collection route. So a collection route could consist of regular house refuse or recycling. I'm gonna start up the broom and we're gonna start sweeping. I'm so excited. Ready? Yeah. All righty. So we got buttons we're gonna push. We got, we got some buttons over here. Uh, so we're gonna put her in sweep mode right now. I like how it makes us bounce a little bit. A little, yeah. It's like a little ride. Yeah. And here we go. Here we go. In your time driving, you've, your nerves have developed? At the beginning, it's very nerve-wracking, especially, um, I think my first day, i never been to Harlem. Driving up there, you get to know the city. It actually picks stuff up. Of course. Yeah, we're, we're not here for a show. We actually pick up trash. Like, what's it like being, like, a woman in your position, like, working in the Department of Sanitation? It was definitely intimidating at first because the, the force is, mainly men. As the years are going on, a lot more women are coming on. So, but the, the men here are gentlemen. If, if there's ever anything that we need, just ask. And they'll, like if there's an issue with the locker room, women's locker room, a lot of the garages didn't have women's locker room because they're so old yeah. and women weren't on the job. Say, so yeah. new ones are built. The Department of Sanitation has been very accommodating for all the women that are coming on. So like, what would you say is your, your biggest pet peeve like, on the job? Um, probably civilians when they're standing directly on the curb mm -hmm. and you know that they saw you. Yeah, it's kind, of, some, it's kind of like playing chicken. Yeah, you mean like, like this person right here? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and it's great because she's on her phone. She's not paying attention. Can you get out of, get out of the way, get out of the, we're gonna run over your feet. Do you want your toes? There we go. Was that hard? Was that hard? Excuse me. Excuse me. Have a nice day. If I wanted this, like your job, short of like killing you right now, what would I have to do to get it? So next year actually, there's the filing date for the sanitation test. So after you take, after you file, they'll announce when the test is gonna be. Study do very well on the test, and a year or so later, it'll be me. And your shift ends at two? Yes. So it, it, all you have to do then is just go back and park? Does someone else dump the trash, or is that also your responsibility? That is also our responsibility. Actually, at the end of our shift, um, we'll go back to our garage. There'll be a collection truck there waiting, mm -hmm. and we'll dump in the back of that. And then we're also responsible for washing and greasing our brooms. different garage. It's yep. across the street from the garage we were just in. Yep. We drove the mechanical group over. We have it backed up to an even bigger garbage truck. Our collection truck. Collection truck, which looks to be like a standard pretty much garbage yeah. truck. And we're gonna dump the trash we collected today into this bigger truck and eventually it's gonna It's gonna go to one of our facilities. Cool. Alright, so first I'm gonna cycle this guy. Okay, we're cycling, we're cycling. Oh, that's terrifying. It's basically a giant, cl yeah. You want it, so whenever this is going, you kind of, <laughs> you want to step back, because anything could fly that's out. Terrifying. Now we're gonna raise the hopper here. Wow, looks like we did some gardening. Right? Give it a little shake. 
slime. I literally just... Where are your gloves? And now we're going to take this back to the garage, the other garage we were started in. Yeah. And there's like some maintenance stuff in there. Yeah, we're going to wash and grease the broom and that's, we're going to call it a day. I have to ask, do you think I, do you think I'm fit for the job? Uh, do you want the honest answer? Yeah. So I think you're going to do really well on the written test, oh. but I think you need to hit the gym for the physical. Oh, well, I'm usually also bad at tests, so I think I'm kind of screwed.